Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we finally been waiting for it. Woo! It's our Shein Halloween haul and today we're going over jewelry, accessories, and some beauty items too because I do got nails. I do have some makeup brushes and yeah let's get into the video. By the way everything that I have in this video will be linked down below if it's still available. If the items are sold out I will put right next to it that they're not available. So first we're going to go over smaller items like pins. These I saw were really cute. They're like these little Halloween pins. This one says Happy Halloween. It's a little focus. Ooh, it's so cute. It's got a little ghost and a pumpkin. The next one I have is a ghost dog. That's cute. And then the next one I have is a ghost cat. And this one I thought was super cute. I've never really been a huge pin person, but these are adorable. And then next I have these rings. They didn't really say what size they came in. So I ended up just ordering it anyways. This one I think was my favorite. This is a skull ring and it actually fits. It's big on my fingers, but I think it makes for a good thumb ring. Still really like this one. This one I thought was cute because I'd never seen any like this before. And it is adjustable. It has like a little opening right here where you can adjust the ring to make it bigger. And it is a blood drip styled ring. And let me put that on my middle finger so you can see what it looks like. It's really, really cute. By the way, just a little um, helpful tip in my description box, just in case you're wondering which one goes which, I did categorize it to like hair, earrings, that kind of thing. So that way you guys will know where is where and it'll be a lot easier to find. And I put like a little, little like, um, like you know how definitions have like the word in front and like the link at the, the next part. I did it like that so that way you guys can... Um, click on the links a lot easier and you guys will be able to find them really quick. Next we're going to go over hair accessories. These I thought were really cute and I wasn't really sure how to wear them. These are little felt, um, oh my gosh I keep dropping it. Ugh. These are felt bat wing hair clips. These are really cute. I'm not sure if they'll stay in my hair or not, but devil horns. I think this would make a really good cosplay too. Like, even if you don't wear them as a hair clip, I think they would be really good as, like, a prosthetic. You know, kind of, like, glued in your head. Oh, man. I make a really nice-looking devil. Hmm. Maybe I am a demon spawn, after all. <laughs> and then the other ones that I got are, like, these really fancy-looking... They almost look like vampire wings or, like, gargoyle wings in a way. They're really pretty. Look at that detail. And this is the kind of clip that it looks like on the back. These are smaller than the felt ones. They're not like a 3D. They sit flat on the hair. But I think if you were to wear it like sideways or something, I think that's kind of how you're supposed to wear it. I don't know. Those are really cute. All right, on to the next thing. Okay, so for people who don't have their nose pierced or don't plan on doing it, I used to have my nose pierced here, but I had to take it out because well, I found your solution. These, these are like little nose cuffs and look at the different designs. This one's a skull. This one is a spider. And this one is a ghost. Let me open it up a little bit. It's like a little ghost. And I think this other one is a gold skull. So it's the same as the other one. There we go. And they're really easy to use. It just has like this. You just open this up a little bit. And I'm just going to demonstrate. Just slide it on there. But yeah, that doesn't hurt at all. And it's actually kind of cute. So. It's, hmm. I think I am a nose cuff kind of person. That does look surprisingly cute. I'm going to try the black one on actually. The black one is a skull. It's the only black one I got. I probably should have got more. Oh, this one's very apparent. I'm normally a gold kind of person, so I only wear gold. Ooh. Huh. Makes me wonder. Should I get more piercings? Get re-pierced, I guess. This is nice. 
like I said, very temporary. If you don't want to get your nose pierced, they have other accessories on there. They do have like the fake um, septum cuffs. They even have stuff for people that do have their noses pierced. But this is really cute and I like it. Bloop. There you go. Not pierced anymore. Okay, so. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention that everything that I bought was very inexpensive. It was literally all around like a dollar. Some of it was maybe be like two dollars and some um, were probably a little bit more expensive. Were less than ten dollars. Um, but the next one that I really want to go over were these glasses chains. I do wear glasses. I don't think you, I don't know if you guys have ever seen me with my glasses on. But these are glasses chains and I got two that were Halloween related and I got others that were just like chains that I've always wanted to get. These have like the little witch hats on them and they have like the little silicone things that you put around your glasses. And I did get another one that was the pumpkins, pumpkins with the witch hat on them. <laughs> these are so cute. And I'll show you the other ones that I got. I don't want to really pull them out of the bag. But I did, like, put them in the description box. Don't don't worry. These are, like, seashells. And they have, like, the different kind of seashells and starfish on them. This one was, like, it had, like, the one pearl. But it was, like, the beaded. I think I put it in my description box as beaded. Um, this one was the pearl strands. And then the last one, this was the moon and stars. I've always wanted um, chains for my glasses and since I'm going to be redoing my prescription because I haven't done that in like at least five years, I want to get some new glasses and sunglasses and be able to put those on there. I am considering getting LASIK vision one day. That is definitely up there on my list because I've worn glasses like since I was in middle school so <sighs> they can be a bother especially when you have to wear prescription sunglasses. So yeah. Ugh. All right, next we're gonna go over necklaces and collars and you're probably wondering what that bell sound is But I originally thought this was a cat collar, but it's actually a dog collar Which is totally fine because I can totally put this on boost and it's got like a little um, Hollow uh, like a jack-o'-lantern bell on it And it's a ghost collar. It is adjustable and it's like a really really good quality material It's like the same thing you would find at like Walmart or something. It's got like the good quality clasp. And so yeah. Maybe I'll show you guys a picture of what it looks like on her. Next I got this um, studded collar type thing. I think this was like on the men's section. But it is sold out but don't worry. All you have to do is type in studded collars and a bunch of stuff will pop up. Some other chokers like styled collars. Well, they're not really collars, they're more like chokers. This one is a pearl choker. I kind of limited on how much I can film at the moment. Yeah, you would think with a new phone I'd have a lot more memory, but I don't. This one I put it under as like a beaded choker. Oh, that's really cute. This one is a just a regular pearl choker. I love pearls. If you couldn't tell yet. And this one definitely has more of like an anime style. I totally had to get this one. And it's actually stretchy. It still has, the only thing I don't like about this, it has like the ties as a fasten. But because there is like a big ring on the end, I think you can uh, make your own fasten. So that way you can put it on around your neck a lot easier. And it's like a giant bow and a bell. Really good for cosplay, every day, maybe some BDSM, maybe some lingerie, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah. <laughs> Next to socks, because I know we all love socks. These came in a pack, and I got three, four, five pairs of socks. This one is black with a ghost. This one says boo, and this one has a bat on it, and this one has a jack-o'-lantern face, and this one says trick-or-treat. And they're all like the ankle styled socks. They're actually soft. They're soft. Good, good material actually. Stretchy. Def probably gonna have to wear one of these tomorrow. I like these. I love socks. Halloween socks are the best. So now let's go ahead and go for leg accessories. Like garters and belts. These come in a pair. These have like the heart shape. 
Um, they are stretchy and they are adjustable. I think this is on the biggest setting. So they both come in a pair and they have like the little clasp at the bottom so you can attach it to any kind of stockings, socks, or hosiery. This one was really pretty. It's not Halloween related, but I really liked it. I don't know if I'll ever have the opportunity to wear this unless I wore like a dress with a slide side slit that was showing off my leg. But this is a stretchy type garter. Um, you don't open it, you actually have to slide it on. But your legs pretty much will go through this chain. And it's like a heart shaped charm that like just kind of hangs down your leg. I'll show you guys what it looks like on the picture. It's really cute. I really liked it. They had other ones too. There's one with a snake and there was another kind. I don't remember which one it was exactly. And then I've got this really cute caged um, belt. In the picture it was kind of worn as like a more like under your bust kind of thing. And it is, you can open it. You can adjust it with the buckles because they are real buckles and the uh, fastens are like the buttons and they are stretchy because it is like that stretchy kind of like a stretchy material there and I think it was one size fits all it comes in light pink and brown I only got black for just this occasion but I will be planning on getting the other colors as well all right next we're doing earrings and I will be wearing um some of these for you to demonstrate what they look like I haven't worn earrings in a while because at my work we can't wear earrings. So these are the first pair. They're like little goldfishes with the witch hat on them. Super cute. These were a similar style to the other one. It's the witch's hat with the broom and I believe it says, it says wizard in training. That's exactly what it says. These are cute. They are a little bit heavier on the ear because the sugar skull is pretty solid. <laughs> I, I'm going through all the dangly ones first and then we'll go through the studs. This one was really cute. It has the orange flower and like the sugar skull type head. Um, next pair that I'll be wearing are these black butterflies with the skulls in them. Actually, I don't know if you can see it clearly, but there are skulls in the wings and they do come in a different color, which I got and they're white, white butterflies. So I got white and black. I think I got, these are definitely my style. I like little hoop earrings and I like the little, little, little ball or something that hangs off of it, but it's a gold hoop earring with a gold skull on it. Really cute. This one dangled, I thought it was a stud, but I'll show you guys what they look like. They are um, spider webs with the black spiders on them. These are really nice. Some of these, I will be giving them away. Um, if you guys are interested in anything that's in these boxes, maybe I'll put them all in a box and whoever leaves a comment um, or follows me on, you know, like on Instagram or subscribes to my YouTube channel, um, let me know that you did any of those things in the comments down below. And I will put all these items in a box and I'll be giving them away to somebody. Next are these pearl spiders. You know I like pearls. Definitely gonna keep these. And these. These are really cute. I know I definitely would not wear them. They're not really my style. But I just, I had to buy them and show you guys because they, they're really cute. These were the ones that were more expensive than the others, I believe. Um, just because these jewels that they used look like they were definitely a, more of a better quality. They're not cheap. They don't look like they're plastic. They, they look really, really nice. I don't know. Do I want to keep these or not? I don't. They're too big for me. I'm not into like really big, chunky, like gaudy looking earring. But if you want these, let me know. Next, we're going to go over beauty items. So I'm going to go through nails first. And then we're going to go through our last two beauty items. Nails. I saw that they had a lot of these really cute like nail printed stuff. Oh my god these like vampire looking ones and they they don't look that bad this one actually looks really nice these are really nice too and they're printed on very nicely the only one i think didn't look as good were these and it is a different brand they're not like these halloween type brands which is probably why they don't look as good I don't really, I don't plan on keeping these. I think I'm going to end up giving them away as well. 
and oh, these are so pretty. All right, so I don't know if you guys have ever tried these before, but Shein also has their own beauty brand called She Glam, and I have bought their makeup in the past. This is one of their palettes that I got. This is the newest one. They've added a lot of new stuff, and I will be probably talking about that in a separate video. In the shade, this is the palette name, is called Soleil, which also stands for sun, which is why the colors are kind of more of like a fall colors. Let's just do like a little swatch of each one so I can show you. All right, so here we go. From that pink one is very transparent. I think it's just more of like a glittery sheen. They were very chalky, so I don't know how well these um, eyeshadow transfers are going to be. I guess we'll, we'll know in the future. I'm going to have to use this one day, so, hmm. But again, you do get what you pay for, so sometimes the makeup is a hit and miss. But a lot of stuff that I've gotten, it's always been really good. And last but not least are these... Halloween makeup brushes that I got. This is the box that it comes in and it comes in a pack just like this. They're like that really bright orange color just like my makeup. Very Halloween related. Oh, well this is the first one that came out. It's a really nice like soft kind of bristle. They don't feel cheap whatsoever. They actually feel pretty nice. The handles are all plastic. That definitely felt feels cheap. I do like that it has like the perfect groove in it. Perfect for handling. I don't know how well this is going to do in makeup, but I guess we'll find out in another video. Until then, you know, like the Disney Channel. Woo -doo. Um, I will see you guys in next week's video. It's going to be pajamas and lingerie. Until then, you guys have a Happy October, and we're getting so much closer to Halloween. Woohoo! You guys should leave me a comment what your Halloween costumes are going to be because I'm kind of curious. So, until then, goodbye.